Today, we are going to explore the different ways in which we can represent dates in Excel. Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew and welcome to the We Can Edutech channel. Okay, so I'm in my spreadsheet and what I'm going to show you today can be done on any version of Microsoft Excel. So if you are having any challenges reproducing what I'm doing, please let me know in the comment section below and I will help you. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is add the current date in cell A6. And Microsoft Excel has a shortcut for this. And it's the same shortcut whether you're using a Windows computer or a Mac. And the shortcut is Control semicolon. So if you click Control semicolon, you get the current date. So the current date um, for this recording right now is the 17th of September 2022. So the format of the default date is the year followed by the month followed by the day. Now you might be curious if you have a Mac computer, what happens if I click command semicolon? So let's see what happens. I'm going to go to A7 and if I click command semicolon, it gives me the current time. But I'm doing dates today, so I'm going to go to my top menu, click on clear, clear all. So now I've cleared everything there from A7, including the formatting. Okay, so let's go back to A6. So this is the current date. And if I go to the bottom right corner, you see that my crosshairs goes from a white fill crosshairs to a solid dark crosshairs. And if I click the corner there and I drag down, as you can see, now it fit, it auto fills from A7 to A14 and it's increasing by one day. So it says starts with the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, and it goes all the way to the 25th of September, 2022. So that's one way in which you can add dates. Now let me click in B6, so I'm in cell B6, and now I'm gonna manually type in the date. So I'm going to do it this time, day, month, year. So I'm going to type in manually 17 forward slash, and I'm going to put September in words, forward slash 2022. And then I'm going to click enter or the return key on the keyboard. And there it gets the date. Now let's autofill this column B now. So I go to the bottom right corner and I hold and I drag down. And I'm gonna to go to B14 and I release. So as you can see, it has increased it by one day going down. So 17th followed by 18th, 19th, and then finally 25th. And this format is day, month, year. And so it's the same values, as the same dates as what's to the left of it. So there are different ways in which we can format this date quite easily. So again, it's day, month, year. But if I go to the top menu and I click on the drop down arrow, there are two quick ones I can get here. I can get a short date. So if I click that, it goes to year, uh, month, day. Or let's go back to the drop down menu again and we click long date. It's going to give me, and there's a preview, it's going to give me the day, comma, month, date comma year so let's click on long date now if you see these hashtags it means that the it cannot fit in the space that is provided right now so the column width is too narrow to hold the contents of the cell so there are two ways in which you could fix this you go to the top where column b meets column c in this case and you can click and drag to widen column b until it fits or a shortcut is that you go between columns B and C and then you double click. And it and then it automatically changes the width so that it could fit the entire contents of that cell. So as you can see, the format is changed to day, month, date, year. So remember, this is formatting. So it means that we are just changing how it looks on your spreadsheet but the value, that information is not changing. You're not losing any data. So if you look in the formula bar, it's still saying 
2022-09-17 and it will retain that information no matter what. Now let's explore some further ways in which we could format this date. So we are going to go to our favorite shortcut if you've been watching the previous videos in order and that's Control 1 if you're on the Windows, Command 1 if you're on your Mac and you know where that's going. It's going to go to the Format Cells box. So I'm just going to shift it a little bit to the side and make sure that the number tab is selected and to the left of it for the category you're going to choose date so we have some date formats available to us so right now and keep your eye on the preview because the preview here or the sample shows you the what is happening to that first cell of the selection so in this case the first cell of the selection is b6 and Currently, it's Saturday, September 17, 2022. Now, let's click on the different formats and see how the sample preview changes. So, if I click on this one, it gives me that option. And you can go on and click the others as well. Okay, so let's just randomly choose one. I'm going to choose this guy here. And I'm going to click OK. And you see all the values will change. And the first one will be 17 09 2022. Sorry, 22. And that will be in contents B6. So let's click OK. And you'll see that happening now. So as you can see, you have formatted the date into that. OK, so let's go back to the format cell box. So Command 1. And so there are some already built-in date formats. I'll just move the box a little bit. Okay, let's go to the custom tab now and you can do some further formatting there. So I click on custom and again, keep your eye on the sample preview box because that's going to show you what the first cell in that selection is going to look like. So let's delete what's in the type box. And as you see, when I delete the formatting, it goes to a number and in this example, it's 44,821. I'm going to come back to this number and what is the importance and significance of this number. But for now, let's continue custom formatting. There are three components in a date. There's the day, which is represented by D, the month, M, and the year, Y. So let's start with D and see what, what happens as I click on the formatting. So if you click 1D, it gives you the, num the numerical value, which is the 17th. In this case, I click a second D. Nothing happens to the D. It gives me the, the, the abbreviation, so it's Saturday. And if I click the fourth D, it gives me the full name Saturday. If I click on a fifth D there, onwards, nothing happens. Okay, so let's delete that. And now let's go to month. If I click on month, it gives me nine. If I click a second M, it gives me 09. A third M, it gives me the abbreviated months, September, SCP. If I click it a uh, fourth time, it gives me the full name, September. If I put a fifth M in there, it gives me the first letter of the month, S. And if I continue, it just, gives, just remains as September. And now let's do year. So if I click 1Y, it gives me the last two digits in a year, so it's 2022, so you get 22. Click a second Y, still 22. A third Y gives me the full year, 2022. And four Ys onwards will remain as 2022. So now with custom formatting, you can do some interesting things. Like you can use that information I just gave you, combine them in different ways. So for instance, if I wanted to show the format September, dash 2022 in other words i want to show you i want to tell excel show me the month and the three letter abbreviation followed by a dash followed by the year so we could easily do that first is the month so we go m m m so that gives me september now i want to put a dash so i could go space bar dash space and then i could put a year and it wants the full year so i put two three y's now if you don't want any spaces between the month the dash and yeah, you could just go back now and just, again, bring it close and remove these spaces and always look at the preview. This is what it's going to look like. Another example, let's say we want to do the month in a three-letter abbreviation dot the date comma year. 
we can do that as well. So let's remove that. Let's go month, and then I want a period, space. Then I'm going to type in the day, and then I'm going to put a comma, and I want the full year, so three Ys. And as you can see, the first cell, B6, will be formatted as September.17, 2022. And if I click OK, it's going to change the range, the selection from B6 to B14 into this type of format with the first cell being September.17, 2022. Click OK. And there you can see the whole selection has been formatted that way. All right, so let's go into D6. So we in cell D6, and I'm going to just manually type in 17 forward slash 09 forward slash 2022. Now it might look like, hey, so I've manually entered a date starting with the day, the month, and then the year. And so you might say, well, okay, that's a date. Now if I select D6 again, you see here it says general. That means that it's not recognizing the date, that is Excel. So let's click on the drop-down menu. If I go to do all the stuff that I just did, it, nothing will happen. If I click on long date, for instance, nothing happens because it's not seeing it as a date. It's seeing it as Excel is seeing this D6 cell as, 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 um, as just numbers, not a date format. Even if I try to autofill, it just increases the year by one. Let's clear that formatting. And I'm going to type it in again. So 17 forward slash 09 forward slash 2022. And as you can see again, this is not a date format. X has not seen this as what you manually entered as a date. It's seen it as numbers. All right. But, but the good news is that let's say you had a spreadsheet you didn't know about formatting dates and you did not see this video as yet and you have manually entered a whole lot of dates and you're like oh my god do i have to redo this the answer is no if you have manually entered and it's it's just seen it as numbers and not a date the easiest way to convert that is to go to your top menu click on data then you go to text to columns you click on text to columns and here you make sure that delimited is selected. You go to next. Now here's the thing. You want to make sure that all these boxes are unchecked. In other words, all the boxes are empty. And once all the boxes are empty, you click next again and you go to date. All right. And let me just put this to the side. So you see, see, I could put it over here to see it's happening. All right. And in this case, it's the day month year so i could choose that one and then i click finish and as you can see now excel knows that this is actually a date and if i go to the home and i go here it says date and with d6 selected if i click the drop down menu and i click long date all right and you know what happens if you're seeing this that means that the space that is currently there is not wide enough to hold the contents of the cell. You could just double click between columns, D, but in this case, D and E. And as you can see now, Excel knows this is a date. And if I autofill, boom, again, this one is a little too much, so double click. And there you go. Okay, so I'm going to clear that for that example. And so now the contents again is should be general, yep, because all the formatting has been cleared by clicking on clear all. And now let I'm going to put a date, and 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 that date is going to make sense soon. So I'm going to put the first of January, nineteen hundred, and in D seven cell D seven, I'm going to put the date, today's date, at least for the date of the recording. So today it's the seventeenth of September 2022. And then I'm going to click out of the cells. So you can see there are two dates. I remember we just saw a number like like Excel is looking at the date as a number. Well, that number is significant. So like if I click on D6 
and I change this to general formatting. So there is no specific formatting. It says one, and that's the serial number. So the 1st of January, 1990 has a serial number one. Now, if I click on today's date in cell D7, and I do the same thing, drop down menu, and I go to general, you see it's saying 44,821. And what that means is that today's date is 44,820 days from January 1st, 1900. How cool is that? And so although Excel is seen, is now the formatting is looking like it's, it's numbers, you can easily bring that back to a date. So as you see, I, and I can select one, I can go to formatting, I'll just bring it to the side here, and I'll bring it over here, custom, uh, oh, let's go date first. I can look at the preview box. It's, it all can be formatted to any date that you want. So let's go with month, comma, day, comma, year. I click OK, boom. So you could format it to anything you want. So I hope this video was useful. And if it was, please show your love by liking and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. See you soon. Take care for now. Bye-bye.